if you're thinking about staying at the Citizen M Hotel. It's a really cool little pod type of room. It's very space efficient. It's super cool and hip, but there's some things about the room that are a little annoying. Like, first of all, Citizen M Hotel. What you do is you just go to the kiosk and you just type in your information and then you even, uh, there's just like a stack of these cards on the side. You pick it up, you put it against the computer and I guess it um, does its thing. So we'll see how it works. Okay, it opened and you just push and Whoa, this is like super futuristic. Quick walkthrough from the looks of it. It is super small, which I was expecting from the reviews and pictures online. Some hooks for our jackets, um, some shelving for our things, and then the sink is outside of what I suspect is the bathroom right here. You just open this up and we got ourselves a toilet and a um, shower, really cool shower head right here. Shower head, some cool kind of like airplane looking lights. I feel like this bathroom is like very European. Sink works, we got right here. Everything's labeled, which is pretty cool. Light mirror, and I guess that's how much it lights up. Vanity light on, oh. This is the vanity. So we do have a desk right here. Modern chair right there. A cool hip bench. Sit on and see the comfiness. A little firm, but does the job. Good old hotel phone. Everything is labeled. So we have um, light and dark. Oh. These lights turn off and on, so dark. Whoa, okay. Oh, this opens very slowly. So that is what's across the way, which are apartments, I think. Okay. All right, light back on across the way is apartments. This is looking like a little spaceship pod. We got some books right here. I don't think anybody reads these. They're just for like the coffee table and stuff. But yep, cool um, book ends right there. Some really interesting artwork. TV and a light above. This is such a space pod. And this is like soft soundproof stuff. This little doll right here, interesting. I have no idea. Um, Oh, it's like a person in like a swimsuit and a tutu. We got our notepad here with, oh, it's like a little notebook. Great fiction, works of art or rude poems. They all, they all start here. So a little notebook for you to have and a pen. Always need that. From what I heard, you can control everything on this puppy. It says, welcome back, Citizen Eric. That's a weird kind of um, picture right there. And tap anywhere on the screen and you get to control your room. So um, this is changing the color of that wall right there. Let's see how it looks inside. And it worked. And that's all being controlled right there. 
Whoa, we got some chips and dip, some fries. Elote and cheese fritter, shrimp tempura. Okay. Dessert. Okay. Down here we got a safe. Who uses a safe in, in a hotel? I don't know. Sketch people. We got the remote down there. It's cool that these things are lit. Step back a little. Down here we got a fridge. We got our towels right here. The garbage and recycling. The size of the bed compared to one Eric. So I've seen Living Bobby do this on YouTube. So one, two, three, four rolls. These blankets, they feel pretty comfy. This Citizen M is the one on 201 Westlake Ave North uh, by South Lake, I think, because there's two locations. There's also one closer to downtown. This one is closer to the Space Needle and the rooms are smaller. As you can see, it's super small. This bed is just, just fits perfectly between these two walls. Anyways, as I was saying, the other Citizen M is a little bit bigger. The rooms are bigger. There's a lot of space around the beds. Get out. There's some outlets. Oh, what? There's also this curtain right here. Oh, what? That's kind of see-through. Offer some separation if like there's two people and one person's gonna like use the bathroom. I'll show you how snug it feels in here. So we'll close this. And this is how small it feels inside this bathroom. Like this is the wall, door, glass, towels, and then this little knob here. Push that. And then see what's going here. This is a good size bathroom for a very, very small, very small tiny room and we got some pizza some of that in there. some of that some of that this is the bar area a little lounge space but check out this artwork that's another lounge space they got some cool lamps Here's another lounge space. That's the entrance. That's the bar. There's a lot of cool things like books and stuff. Cool statues. I think that's where they're serving breakfast tomorrow morning and I bought breakfast so we'll get to see how it is but for now we're eating this pizza. Yummy margarita pizza with a ginger kombucha. It's kind of busy. A lot of young people, a lot of people in and out. Bartender's a little grumpy, but pizza's good. The television. If you can see, when you turn it on, you have to go to menu, and if you choose anything like music nothing comes on so let's go back to menu and oh i want to hook up my apple phone to do apple airplay you choose that option and nothing really happens i tried this dozens of times so i'm not just like turning it on for the first time now and it just comes back to the home screen all right go back to menu uh chromecast i don't have like a phone that has Chromecast but if you click it maybe it goes to someone else's Chromecast right now Matthew Garrison I don't know who you are but it went to your Chromecast uh, let's go back to menu so say you just give up and you just want to watch TV all right I'll just watch some movies pick the movie option go to library and it's just all fitness cardio yoga dance Fitness, fitness, keep going, fitness, keep it going, fitness. There's no real movies or TV shows or channels. The second thing is that 
I had to request for additional pillows because the pillows that I got, they smelled like the person before me, like a lot. Like I could still smell that person's cologne on the actual pillow. Luckily they came up, they gave me three new pillows and that was really nice of them. Third thing is the shampoo is also shower gel, but they just have shampoo. So um, I think this is, it just says shampoo, shower shampoo. So they just have shampoo. If you come here, bring your own uh, body wash or soap. They just have shampoo. They have two different kinds of shampoo, one for the evening, one for the morning. This thing right here, it's the opposite. So if you put it towards hot, it, it turns cold. If you put it towards cold, it's hot. That's not s such a big deal, but it is kind of annoying when you're waiting for the water to turn on um, and get hot and it's been on hot and you think it's on hot, but it's still cold. Not a big deal, but when you wake up, you're just like, ah, I want some coffee. Usually a hotel room has coffee. No coffee station in this room. Wake up. You want a hot cup of coffee, you make the coffee, it's just like, that's the hotel experience. Even in the cheapest hotels, they have like the cheap little pods. So we got a plug here and we got tons of plugs here, but there's no USB. So you have to bring your own uh, plug. They don't have any just USB ports anywhere. Usually it's by the lamp, usually it's by the bed somewhere. Um, I looked all over this place and there's no USB port. Um, not too much of a big deal, but by the window, I'm not going to get too deep, but in between the wall and the bed, there's a lot of hair that um, housekeeping had missed. On to the next thing that I wrote down in this handy dandy notebook that they gave me. Toothbrush. It's not an issue, but it's, um, it's a plus. If you forget your toothbrush, they're the kind of hotel that gives you a free toothbrush, so that's pretty awesome. Um, the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is easy to log on to. Uh, you just click into guest, no password, no nothing, um, and it's great. So those are the, the few things about the hotel room that I feel like are little quirks that um, are really annoying, especially if you didn't bring a plug for your phone. Um, and no TV. The TV is the biggest thing. It's like... After a long day, a long flight, you just want to watch some TV, maybe listen to some music, no music, no channels, no movies, no shows, no TV. Just came from having breakfast in the lobby, got some coffee. Coffee is $3. If you did not purchase the breakfast, breakfast was $27. And I think I got... um tricked in the beginning when I checked in because they tried to upsell me and um you know I bought the breakfast which was $26.95 not sure if it's worth it I didn't even take any footage because all I had was scrambled eggs potatoes and toast there was a little bit of fruit left and I took like the bottom of the bowl of fruit there was some salmon locks that was there but they were all out but they do have coffee if you do buy the breakfast they do uh it does come with espressos and cappuccinos and coffee drinks and stuff like that. So that could be worth it. I say you're in Seattle, you're in a part of town where there's a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of places to eat. So skip buying the breakfast here at Citizen M and go out into uh, the city and have a yummy Seattle breakfast um, with great coffee. At least the coffee is good. You can't go wrong with coffee anywhere in Seattle. But um, I'm going to pack up my stuff and head over to the Space Needle because I got to be there in like 15 minutes. Um, and a quick tip, if you're staying at a hotel and the checkout time um, is very early and you have luggage like me, leave your luggage with the hotel. They'll give you like a ticket and they'll store it in a um, lock closet before you head to the airport. Go pick it up. And um, yeah saves you some time. Surrounding area is super beautiful here. Seattle. Beautiful trees. This is the Citizen Hotel. So you see it behind me, Citizen Hotel. It's actually really cool. 
forest and the trees here in Seattle are actually so beautiful. All right, I need to find my way to where the Space Needle is and then, um, yeah, get some footage. But right now it's really cold <laughs> and wet. Really beautiful here in Seattle. And I am excited to get to the Space Needle. <laughs> 